So with that research, we have found that uh, sea level is indeed accelerating, but this acceleration did not start as widely suggested with the, with the advent of satellite altimetry, but it started already in the 1960s. Um, we further are now able, because we have the geometry of sea level changes, to track that, uh, to, to, to look where this, uh, from which region this acceleration stems from. And um, that was one of the surprising results. We found that the northern hemisphere, where all these nice tide gauges are located, or most of them, um, are not contributing much to the acceleration in global mean sea level over the 20th century, but it is rather dominated by the southern hemisphere, so roughly 80% of the variations. And um, we have a particular hotspot of sea level acceleration since the 1960s in the South Pacific, um, with a region of increase in the subtropical Pacific and a region of decrease in uh, closer to Antarctica, so in the southern part. And um, we further find that this is mainly related to an increase in, in southern hemispheric westerly winds.